Hey Spirit Tribe, Gigi here with Spirit Readings and I'm so glad and so happy that you're able to join me here today. We are going to be doing a timeless reading for Virgo all placements. So wherever in your birth chart you find Virgo, then this message is most likely for you. Or if you're just checking in on someone that's a Virgo, that's totally okay as well. Now, please keep in mind that this is for the general collective, so not everything may resonate, and that's perfectly okay. You just set it to the side for someone else or for later even. You know, it may make more sense as events continue to unfold. You know, anything is possible when we believe, right? I may have to adjust my camera there just a little bit. Okay, I think that's a little better. Sometimes it's hard for me to tell. Oops, my bad. <laughs> but, um, you know, if it doesn't apply, you just go on ahead and you let her fly, you guys. No big deal. Now, everything that you need to know about me, about this channel, how to get a hold of me, the decks that I'm using, that can all be found in the description down below. So, make sure you check that out. So... All right, let's see what is going on with Virgo. Virgo, what do we have? Okay, so we have the Four of Winter showing up here, this koala. Thoroughly think things through before making a decision. Continuing to overanalyze isn't going to get you any closer to a resolution, but meditation and prayer will bring the answers that you're seeking. So, you know, instead of continuing to feed your monkey mind, you know, pause, reflect, you guys. You know, I'm feeling the hermit, which is Virgo energy so strong here with this, you know. Uh, take that time, you know, to calm down, to go within, and, and I'm hearing cleanse, you guys. So it may be a time when you feel like, you know, you need to cleanse, you need to purify, you need to go within, you know, quit feeding your monkey mind a bunch of negative crap and, you know, get back on on your path, the path that you're meant to be on. So, all right, let's see what else for Virgo, what else for Virgo is coming through here. Okay. We have Well Spirit and number 65, Trust the Great Mysteries. So, you know, I feel like it's opening yourself up to, you know, the universe to, to trust and believe, you know, in something higher and bigger than, than yourself, you know, and that it's okay that you don't know everything. And, you know, I know that that can be scary, the unknown, but, you know, if we knew everything, it would take some of the zest um, out of life, out of living. And, you know, who wants to, who wants to live a boring, you know, life, right? Like, not me. <laughs> I didn't sign up for that. But trust that when you do need to know something, if it comes to your safety, you know, uh, keep listening to your intuition and trusting it. You know, I feel like sometimes, you know, we don't we don't trust enough in that. You know, we we tell ourselves, oh, that's not um, what's really happening, or or this or that. You know, we we you know stuff it down and we don't listen to it and then it's like oh I I should have listened to that and that's kind of what I feel like with that as well we have a number 32 goddess of vibration truth oh okay allow all your words and actions to reflect your truth so you know your truth and, and, and everyone else's truth may not look 100% the same, right? And that's perfectly okay because we are all special and unique and we have our own journey, you guys. So, you know, don't 
get so focused on this is what worked for you know so and so and you know it it should work for me too because you're your own individual person with your own um, individual beliefs so it's okay you guys calm calm down is something that I'm hearing here like um, kind of feels like thoughts really are are what's you know maybe you're losing sleep as well as something spirit is giving me here too so let's see what's going on in the love department for you guys and this isn't just romantic in nature only um, it can include our friends and our family as well we do have a new beginning coming in here though a new adventure awaits embrace it and live your dreams passionately you know and that's part of your truth you guys and and part of the great mystery that's going to unfold you know and i feel like a lot of healing and you know healing comes in layers you guys grief comes in layers as it comes to the surface you know instead of stuffing it back down allow it to be seen felt heard so it can go on its way you guys that's that's part of the healing we also have time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. So, you know, whatever um, that resonates at whatever level for you guys, whether it's a relationship or, um, you know, trying too hard to make things happen with someone or, um, you know, trying too hard to be seen um, or heard or or anything, you know, you shouldn't have to try so, so hard with someone to the point you're not being true to who you are is, is something that's coming through here, you guys. You know, they either accept you and love you for who you are or they can go down the road. So, you know, spirit ain't, spirit ain't sugarcoating it there. <laughs> You know, sometimes it'd be like that. Spirit's like, look, I've tried to sugarcoat it and you just don't seem to be getting it. So, boom, bow. But look, you have the chair filled here, you guys. So, I feel like once you relax, once you back off a little bit and, um, you know, just allow things to unfold the way that they're meant to naturally, someone is entering your life here you guys so um you know that new beginning it, it's ready you guys and you know the more you relax and and the more you let the natural flow take hold the better it is for you and for them and you know sometimes when we're in separation or we're not with the person we want to be with or that we're meant to be with however you want to look at it you know, sometimes it's it's a blessing in disguise because, you know, you're being prepared and so are they so that you, that when you do come together, you're an added blessing to one another. So, all right, let's see what's going on with work and money. I always like to know about my money, money, money. So, you know, we're just going to cover all the bases here. We have focus. I align with my ability to focus anytime, anywhere, on anything. I'm a veritable magician and I can magically focus pocus whenever I want. Look, it's working right now. I'm focused on everything except what I need to do. Oh my gosh, I, I feel like a squirrel um, that sees a shiny, you know, it's like, ooh! you know, ooh, 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 be it. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes we, sometimes we need to focus on what we're doing and, um, you know, really pay attention to the details and things, guys. So, you know, don't, don't let the shinies distract you too much from doing the best job that you can do. We have the gavel involvement with the law. So, you know, maybe some of you have some court cases going on. Maybe you maybe you are a lawyer or a judge or or in some kind of law enforcement um, type career, you know. It doesn't necessarily have to mean in a bad way, although we tend to look at involvement with the law. Oh, heck no, you know, but it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, something, something bad, you guys, you know, you could 
have something uh, go in your favor or, or something, you know, the, the possibilities there are literally endless, but you know, don't, don't let fear, doubt, worry, negativity get in there and, and rob you, you guys, you know, things have a way of working out. So let's see what's going on in our lives here. You know, this is what affects our happiness and our success so let's see we have look forward and number 41 it can break down into a five fives are big on change you guys and you know in order to keep looking forward we have to tear that rear view mirror off you know there's nothing there for us in the past you know we can go back and visit we can go back and see what's worked for us what hasn't you know but we can't, you know, it's already written in stone. There's nothing more that can be done there. So, you know, you can go and visit, but you can't stay. So, got to keep looking forward and, you know, focusing on your own journey again is something that's coming in. And, you know, pay attention to your surroundings, you guys, because, you know, you got to be aware of what's going on around you and you know like uh keep listening to your intuition so is coming through again so you have the cracked cup dissatisfaction with life so you know there there's something here you know going on that you're very dissatisfied with you know and i kind of feel that grief that morning um coming back in you know and th because there's so many of us it's going to be something different so um but a cracked cup can be repaired or replaced so you know just know that no matter what you're going to be okay you are whole you are beautiful you are wonderful you are amazing just as you are the shield also came out you need to defend yourself you know for some i feel like you could be going through a breakup or a divorce even because involvement with the law is there and you need to defend yourself but know whoever is going out of your life someone else will be coming in and i feel like this is for your highest and greatest good it is for the better for the best here you guys so all right let's get a message from the moon here i don't have enough room for all the decks so i just have to grab them here and there all willy-nilly and light but it's okay we get through it <laughs> oh my goodness y'all look at that luck is on your side new moon and sagittarius so you know no matter what it is you're facing you guys luck is on your side you know i feel like you're gonna win um at whatever it is that you're putting your hand heart and mind to you guys and um it's not been an easy battle by uh, any means of the word, but you're going to be okay, you guys. You're going to be provided for. You're going to come out of this on the other side victorious. So let's see what our sixth sense is telling us here for Virgo. We have a number 38, Soul Dance, and I got a flash, I don't know how many of you watch Grey's Anatomy, but you know, they would do the thing where they, where they dance, you know, no matter what's going on in their life, they would just dance, like that Taylor Swift song, Shake It Off, you know, <laughs> is something that I just started hearing as well, so you know let your soul be happy let your soul dance let it be merry let it be light you guys and you know find that joy find that happiness find that peace and choose it you know you can wake up every day and say i choose to be happy no matter what else this day throws at me right here right now i'm choosing joy i'm choosing peace i'm choosing love you know whatever it is that you feel led to say and you know it kickstarts your whole day so let's see what your angels so your angels are telling you if you believe 
If you believe you can, guess what? You can, you will, you're able, you guys. So your belief is, is what becomes your reality and it's time to take action on something. So, you know, it could have to do with, um, you know, defending yourself, um, involvement with the law. You know, there's some kind of action you need to take, but you know that luck is on your side no matter what. It's time to put the past to bed. There's a new beginning waiting to unfold for you. All right, Virgo, these are your messages. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, please smash that uh, like button down below um, and leave your comments if you would like to see more like this. If you haven't already and you find you keep coming back here, please subscribe to the channel. It is free to do so and it means so very much to me. From the bottom of my heart, I love and appreciate each and every single one of you and I want to say thank you, blessed be, namaste, and goodbye.